is the way it's going to work. I'm going to be in three parts. We're going to start, um, part one, I'm, I'm going to give some general background to signal detection, like, you know, why do we care? What's the point of doing this? And uh, importantly, what are the, what are the regulatory uh, requirements? There are actually very stringent requirements in Europe, much more so than here in the States. Now, I'll get into that in a minute. The next uh, part, we're going to go over some, some basic signaling examples. And I, I sort of draw the distinction here between signaling and data mining. I, I talk about signaling, which is really you know, trying to find something, trying to figure out what, how, what is going on. And I use a lot of visualization techniques to make that apparent. So you can really get a feel for, is, is there a problem here? I'm going to go into the third part into more, um, perhaps some more sophisticated algorithms uh, about data mining. Uh, by data mining, I mean um, you know, advanced statistical methodologies for computing uh, signal scores and uh, looking at uh, measures of disproportionality of drug event pairs. Okay. The point about data mining, data mining gives you numbers, gives you statistical measures. It doesn't actually give you signals. It may, it may give you a clue to a signal. It may, even, you know, it may, may actually corroborate a signal. But data mining doesn't give you signals per se. Okay, so hopefully we'll, at the end of that, we'll have figured some of that out.